We are Melody and Foreman in the morning on Hot Country 103.5. It is 7.43, Thursday morning before Easter. Yes! going to be rainy and tan today. Well, that sucks, but here's some good news. We're live on Facebook right now. Yes. So, hello. We you, would like you to join the conversation there. You can see our keen fashion sense on <laughs> Facebook. Yeah, no wonder we did so well with Matea the it, other day. Yes, and who knew? Who knew that when Al Pacino said this... Say hello to my little friend! He was talking about this guy. <laughs> Shrek! What? It's a compliment. Better well, out than in, in, I always, I always say. say. <laughs> Somebody once told me the world. Oh, my goodness. This is the weirdest thing. Al Pacino is pictured out at some art gallery opening dinner with Jason Momoa, and his phone is on the table, and his phone case is this Shrek phone case of a bunch of Shrek faces. It's Al Pacino. It blows my mind because we think Al Pacino, we have this on the, the picture right now on our Facebook uh, video. The, this is the case that yes. he has. It blows my mind that someone like Al Pacino, you, you think Al Pacino and you're like mobster, right? Yes. Like, and he's, he's a Shrek fan. That's insane. Somebody actually took the time, I think it's his daughter, to DM Al Pacino's daughter on Instagram and ask, we need to ask, we have to confirm, it's a bit blurry, it's hard to see, does your dad have a Shrek phone case? And she actually answered and confirmed, yes, it is the Shrek phone case that you can see on Facebook right now. So what does this say about Al Pacino? I don't know. I don't know. But he wants it to say something about him. That's it's, what your phone case does. I think it says he's goofy, he's funny, he's lighthearted. Don't take me too seriously, even though I usually play a terrifying human being on yes. every movie I do. <laughs> I think... I don't know, but your your phone case says something about you. Let's see your... Do you want to see your, our phone cases? This is what Facebook is for, too. Yeah. Do you have yours ready? <laughs> One, two, three. Yep, exactly what I thought it would yeah, look like. That my... says everything we need to know about Melody Rose. <laughs> <laughs> mangled, peeling, broken Apple phone case. Yeah, and then I know I've shown this before, but this is the phone underneath. With a crack screen. <laughs> Yeah. You must cut your fingers using that. <laughs> it really does say everything you need to know about me. And yours, plain, black, uh, you know, unremarkable, says everything I need to know about you. <laughs> what? <laughs> but you know what? I was looking up, like, what your phone case Kay. says about you. And the phone case that I really want, it's it's the person I also wish that I was. Like what, the really, I can't even imagine what it is. <laughs> the really beautiful phone cases, like, you know, the ones with the flowers, like the Kate Spade fancy-ass phone cases that cost, like, $50. Whoa. And, yeah, and, and what it says about you is you have designer clothes, you always have your toenails done, um, you have succulents, you're a micro-influencer, you secretly applied for The Bachelor and lied to your friends about it. I wish I was all of those things, and I'm not. I'm this person! <laughs> <laughs> What's on your phone case? We want to see it. We want to hear about it. Call us, text us, send us a picture, put it on the Facebook video. Uh, Rod, you've called. Thank you. What's on your phone case? Well, uh, technically, I had three. I've uh, been through um, the, the first one was Yoda. <laughs> um, the second one was BB 8 from Star Wars, the new generation there. Oh, boy. And my latest one now is the Star Trek one. Oh, boy. Progressively oh. nerdier. <laughs> Star Trek now, you say? Honestly, I'm one of those weird sci-fi crazy fans that literally enjoys every sci-fi you can imagine, from Battlestar Galactica. Oh, my God. Battle so Star say Wars. we all, Rod. So say we all. Oh, boy. Uh, like I guess I am a cracking nut sometimes. <laughs> Why do you want it on your phone? Why do you think you need to display that to others? It's a good conversation piece, and yes. everybody can relate to it in some way, shape, or form. This, I love this, because when, when Rod said Battlestar Galactica, I used to go around and say frack on purpose so that I would see, because then someone would say, oh, frack, you, you watch Battlestar Galactica. And I'd say, yes, I do. And then we'd have that in common. He doesn't have to do that. He has his phone case, and people would say, oh, you like this thing. You're are you, cool. Are you even talking English right now? <laughs> <laughs> English in the future in space. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, Warren, but it sounds like you're a couple of light years behind us. You might want to uh, try to hop onto the Millennium Falcon do a Kessel Run. That's, that's, a, that's a really cool joke.
That's a very good, solid burn. Foreman's the one in the show that would end up being a toaster this whole time. Mm, another great oh burn, gosh. one assumes. <laughs> Text 902-425-1035 or call. We'll speak like fellow humans, conversing, sharing ideas and thoughts. Or we... We can do that on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and more as Melody and Foreman. And at 902-425-1035, Hot Country 1035. All right, we're still here on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> we are getting a couple comments. Amber Saunders says, mine's broken on the top and the bottom, but it still does the job. Same, same Amber. And Nicole said uh, that I need a raise. Yeah. What? <laughs> Be more specific. That's what, is, that's what my phone case says about me. I need a raise. Oh, yeah. Well, it's <laughs> unlike, like yours isn't doing the job because the phone case is broken and the phone underneath it is also broken. No. And what's unfortunate about this phone case is this is the one that they upsell sold me, right? Like, Oh, it's an expensive one. Well, because they were like, oh, you know, because I got this fancy phone at the time. And a fancy phone with a fancy case. It must be nice. It must be nice. Uh, what phone is that you have there, Foreman, that you spent two weeks getting? Uh, it's an S22. Mm-hmm. Through the company discount mm -hmm. <laughs> with a certain terrible, otherwise terrible service provider, but... I finally got this phone, which only costs like $3 a month or something. Yeah, I see three cameras there. Must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is, yeah. It must be nice. Anyway. It must be nice. I don't know why I'm doing with that many cameras yet, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, no, who knows? Who needs that many cameras? No. I don't know, but your phone case does say something about you, and we want to know what yours says about you. Just the Al Pacino thing are ridiculous. And the other part about this picture of Al Pacino, which I should should have been sharing on uh, this video, is he's got these, he's got his white headphones also plugged into his iPhone, like with the big long wire, like just sitting on the dinner table though, with this giant wire headphones, of course, I mean that, that makes more sense, but the Shrek case is awesome. I, I I, who is this man? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. like, uh, Godfather, and then you have, Guy with a Shrek phone case, it doesn't add up. And no. I know he's not every character he plays, but... Yeah, come on. I mean... Say hello to my little Shrek! Scarface! Like... <laughs> Shrek? What? It's Shrek. a compliment. <laughs> Better out than in, I always say. I like to... Th I think they should make another Shrek movie, and he should be a voice <gasps> in it. Oh. Yeah. They should make another Shrek movie anyway. Well, anyway... We're long should, overdue. Yeah. yeah, we absolutely are. So we should have that. Okay, well, Let Al Pacino, if you are listening, I'm sure you're a hot country fan of Melody and Foreman in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Listen, if he has a Shrek phone case, that's not out of the realm of possibility. No, someone send his daughter this video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If he likes Shrek that much, then he's probably on the same wavelength as Melody and Foreman. Uh, yeah, he definitely is. Yeah. Not he many also, people are, but... Nope. He also has fart sound effects <laughs> <laughs> to use on it. <laughs> did you say fart sound effects? I did. I asked for it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to end the live video here. <laughs> okay, on that note, I'm in. <laughs> can I end the live video? May I end the live video here? You can. Okay. <laughs> Bye.